I figure it's about time that I did a review of some Southern California beaches. We love them when it gets hot. There's plenty to choose from. I love being out in the water with my board. And my favorite beach is Port Wainimi, about 10 miles north of Vent or south of Ventura. It's not exactly a beach that a lot of people go to. I could never figure out why. I think I learned why after doing this video. But it's got everything that you would want in a beach and a few things that you wouldn't expect, like inland waterways. But it's also got a few rough edges, so we'll talk about those a little bit later in the video but like this is a day where it was a hundred degrees inland and you can see there's nobody out there and it's kind of always like that the water's warm the swell out there is really consistent there's a beautiful pier there's lots to do and a lot of things that like you don't think of when you think of a beach and 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 a few other things too but the waves break really well there the swell is super consistent it's clean and if you're a beachcomber and so inclined, you can walk a mile south of the pier and have the whole place to yourself. I mean, where else can you find that? And, you know, you've got some walking trails along the sand dunes and inland waterway, which I discovered on this drone flight. I didn't even know it was there. And an estuary with some wildlife. But you've also got this. And this might be the reason why people, the locals who know, maybe they don't come here because of stuff like this. And I didn't realize I've been coming for three years and I usually stay around the pier. I've never really ventured this far south. There's no reason to. And this is what I found when I flew over this area. Um, pretty disgusting, super polluted. There's that factory in the background that, or in the, yeah, in the background that's a water treatment facility but this area is just crap and maybe this is the rough edge that keeps people away I mean you don't have places like this in you know Malibu and Newport and you know maybe there's something I don't know <laughs> but you know and it's juxtaposed with the areas in the north you know around the pier which are really great and clean and safe and uh, then you have this this area here actually has a name it's called Ormond Beach you can look it up on Google, and if you read the reviews, they're fairly positive. So maybe at some point in the past, this was a really nice area, and when the factories closed and, and some of those areas to the north you know, became abandoned, maybe this is the result of that. And it's, it's pretty disgusting. When you look south there, a mile down, you can see the smokestacks of the water treatment facility, and it looks pretty ominous. Uh, but the shoreline area, even down this far, is really nice. And if you're, you know, someone who likes to jog or you like to take long walks on the beach and you want to have the place to yourself, this is the place to come. And um, on this day, like I said, it was 100 degrees inland. It was, uh, this was a Friday at 12.30 in the afternoon. This beach should be packed with people, you know, up by the pier. Uh, the waves were breaking great. And... It, there was nobody there and it's always like that so I don't know maybe there's pollution coming out of these abandoned industrial areas and um, I don't know maybe the water treatment facility is putting something in the water that people know about that I don't <laughs> but um, you know this day you know, it was 65 degrees the water was you know it's cool so you have to wear a wetsuit when you're out there and I mean what else can you want I mean, it's not like Venice, you don't have the boardwalk and the fancy little shops and, you know, the bike trails down in Redondo, and, but you got great waves and a pier and a clean beach, lifeguards, you've got easy parking, a, an amazing seafood restaurant right there, right in the middle, man, that place is awesome, and when we want to ride waves this is the place we usually come we've gone to other places on the same day and checked them out and this is the place that we end up the swell is super consistent the waves on this day were great I had the ride of the year on the day i was there and if you like to fish this pier people are pulling up fish and crab you know well into the afternoon you know some places it's only in the morning so if you're looking for a beach, man, despite some of the rough edges, you got to give Port Wainimi a try. And you might enjoy it as much as I do. So, thanks for watching. Stay cool.